welcome back my peeps i got another quick tutorial for you guys um this one is using a mold i know some of you guys found this mold at walmart be on the lookout for it it's only a dollar 98 and it does have the impressions on the inside of the little face and it's a really cute uh mold the this is about the size of the peep it's pretty small but so cute so what we're gonna make is we're gonna make some peep kebabs yep so i took them and i put them in these cute little these are pretzel bags um you can find these at walmart joann's michael's hobby lobby anywhere you Anyway, they sell um, real treats, stuff to make real treats. So, um, I thought this came out pretty cute. So, I was just experimenting. So, I thought I would share it with you guys. Because it is pretty cute. I think I like it. I'll leave that one right there. So, I made a couple. Um, peep kebabs. They look like real candy. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys... How I did it. <clears throat> Pretty easy. You're going to take some clay. This is the Play Code 3 clay. Now, I made this clay in four different colors. I did purple. I did blue, yellow, and pink. Okay? You can make them in any color that you want. I try to pick peep colors. You know, like real peep. So basically, you just take some of the air dry clay, and this is the uh, clay from Clay Coat 3. I really like this clay. I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to Model Magic. <laughs> no, I still like Model Magic too, but this a uh, Play Coat 3 clay, you still have to condition it. So make sure you stretch it really well so that it won't get any cracks when you um use it so i'm gonna show you guys how i mixed the colors okay so i just took regular old apple barrel uh pink polish i'll leave the link below if you're interested in this color and if they still have this mold at uh, Walmart. I'll link it so you can find it. I didn't put a lot of paint because I'm kind of going for a pale pink color. Now, if you want it a little bit darker, once you uh, mix it all up and you see what color pink you're going to get out of this, you can add more. I'm looking for a pale, a really pale pink color. Because I already have this pink, so I'm now looking for a different uh color pink because i'm gonna do something else with it i just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to mix the paint in so i'm just add a little bit more paint just because that's just a little bit too light than what i was looking for so you just and when you add the paint and you stretch it like this is also helping condition it so it's easier to use and again you won't get any cracks i know people complain about they get cracked i as long as i condition my clay i really never had any cracks even with model magic I mean, to, to be honest with you, Model Magic was my favorite. I didn't really care for, like, Hobby Lobby's um, air dry clay because it's so soft and sticky. And honestly, I just it just made me depressed because, like, this is, like, it's not sticky. It's not, it's good. So I'm going to show you how to put it in this mold without getting any cracks. So, you're going to take some of the clay. Let me get a little baggie because I don't want this to dry. This dries out pretty fast. And, like, in two or three days, it's, like, 
hard. Not, it, I mean, it's not gonna be like a hundred percent hard, but I'm saying it's firm. It's like not. I mean, Model Magic takes a little while to get like at this point of firmness. This is just. I think I did this like two days ago, or three days ago, and it's like firm. This is the Play Code Three um, clay. Ugh. So what I do, this is what I do. See, because this has these um, the ears here. Hold on. So what I do, right, is I take my clay and I kind of like break it into little pieces like that. And I take that part and I stuff it. Then I take the other ear and I stuff it. And then, because the ears is the hardest part, you're going to take like a toothbrush, a toothbrush, a paintbrush, or something with a round edge. And you're going to push it in there. You're going to push it as far down as you can push it. Because you want to make sure that your ears get the shape that needs to be. Then the rest, once the ears are shaped down at the bottom. And you just take your clay. And you're going to just keep on. I'm picking it up. But don't pick it up. You want it to be on a flat surface. So you get your clay in there and it's going to get the impression of the eyes and the nose and you're just going to leave it right then you're going to take this and you're going to put it in the freezer because you want to make sure that it hardens and when you take it out there's not going to be any issue i have some in the freezer i'm gonna go get i'm gonna put this one in the freezer and i'm gonna get the mold that i have in the freezer here goes the one i did is in the freezer look when you put them in the freezer look at this look how easy they pop out look just like ice cubes they pop out just like ice cubes you gotta leave them in there and let them harden because if you take them out if you try to take them out when they are uh, soft it's just not gonna work out because they too soft right and here, this is the mold of course a dollar 98 at walmart here you go got your little peeps in blue got my blue ones got my purple ones so forth and so on right now you gotta let these sit out for a while because even though they are frozen they still need to air dry because once the air hits them they start softening up they start softening up because they not they not air dry they're frozen so y'all let them air dry so i just put them to the side and let them do what they do. You still don't want them touching each other because they will stick to each other. And you leave them like that and you let them air dry for a day, two, whatever. So when you get your peeps, you need to put eyes on your peep. So what you're going to do is get you a dotting tool. I will leave a link below to the dotting tool. This is a dotting tool. It has like a little round edge and it's double sided and it usually comes with two different size um, rounds. And you just take your paint and you're going to go right in the eyes. And you're going to just, I'm just covering it all up, right? And this one is already done, but it was missing a little bit of paint. So I'm just going to do it over. And that's it. And you get your peep. Okay, you could try to do it with a toothpick. I'm not saying you need this, but this is just like a perfect round at the end. Okay, so.
So, then you're going to need some skewers. I bought this from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to need my cutter to cut them down a little bit. So, you're just going to take a skewer out. And you're going to put them whatever color you... In whatever color or order you want now when you put it through here make sure you get right try to get right in the middle because if you go too low it's going to just come out the back and when you put it in keep straight don't go this way and don't go down just keep it going straight okay So y'all keep it going straight and I'm the one. Just keep it going straight. Make sure it like gets through the other side, right? And then you're gonna push it down. Push it way down. Cause we're gonna end up cutting this off anyway. And you wanna make sure you have room for your peeps to fit. So just go on. Push it through. Bring it down. It's best if you do this like the next day. Once it, you um let them air dry for like a day, you don't want it to get too hard. And then your skewer is not going to want to go through. Or if it does go through, it's, uh, it's going to mess up the, uh, the peat because it's too hard. Right? So don't wait for it to get like extremely hard. That's basically what I'm saying. Do it like a day late, like a day after you make. Like make sure they dry though. Make sure they dry well. I mean, I put the peep in the wrong way. Okay. Oh man, see, look, I done broke his ear off. But we gonna glue that ear on. That's because I waited to um to dry to put them in to put them on the skewer. That's why I'm saying don't do like I did. Make sure you do it right, not right away, but the next day. Okay. So that's what I did, and then I cut this part off. But before I cut this, no, I did cut it off first, and then I glued it. So what I did, I pushed these down a little bit. Then I cut this part off. Then I came back up. Oops. Went up a little bit too far. And I kind of glued the end. Like I just put a dab, like a little dab. You don't want a lot of glue. And then I pushed the peep up. Like to cover it. So the peep is not going to move once this dries. Okay, and I didn't glue the rest of them at all. I didn't glue them together because the glue looks bad. If you glue them, you can notice the glue, and I didn't want that. So I just left them like that, and what I did was glue this part down here a little bit. But <clears throat> you don't even have to do that because you're going to put a straw. I have found these straws at Walmart couple of years ago never used them but they perfect for these peeps so um dollar tree does have some straws actually this straw i got i bought this from dollar tree it came in a multi-pack of other different straws i didn't have any more straws of that kind so i'm going to use this one but i cut the straw in half because you don't need the whole straw. Okay, so you're just going to cut the straw in half. You're going to take the ugly side. Remember, we always take the ugly side. And we're going to cut this down a little bit. Let's see. We're going to cut this down because we don't need the whole skewer. We basically just need it for stability. 
Then I'm going to take this straw and I'm going to not, not push it. You're going to do it like this. You're going to twist, twist until you get the straw in there. You don't want to push it in there because you're going to squash the peep. Okay, so just push it in there. And then now, now I'm going to glue the straw. So once you get that, you see the circle it made? Then you put the glue in there. So the straw won't move anywhere. You put the straw right back. And there you go. <clears throat> you got your peepsicle. Now remember this at the top. That's why I'm telling you, don't I waited too long because I I was gonna make the tutorial earlier and then I waited. And <clears throat> it got dry more than I wanted it to. I still wanted it to be soft on the inside. So this won't happen to you. If you if you make the clay and you let it set for one day, put the skewer in and your straw, you'll be good to go. Don't be worried about that part. That was just because I took too long to make this tutorial. As you can see, I didn't have any issues with any of these at all because I did them the next day after they air dried or this one so if you want to like on this one i don't know if you can see the little bit of sparkle so what i did was i sprayed it i put this on a piece of paper and i sprayed it with um spray adhesive and then i sprinkled some glitter on it this is from recollections it's called snow this is my favorite kind of glitter it's just basic glitter it doesn't have any like um what's that called um it's just regular sprinkle it just makes everything look so pretty like you see like simple it has glitter on it's not chunky it's just enough sparkle it's very fine and that's my favorite kind of glitter simple i guess uh, just simple like me but anyways so if you want to wrap it up to look like this this is what you do get you some of these pretzel bags and now this bag some 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 like if you have a local dollar store or craft store they'll have these bags and sometimes they'll have them even smaller this is a big size bag so basically i'm gonna um put it in here but i'm gonna fold the bag over gotta have glue webs so see, once you put it in here, <clears throat> now you don't have to do this. This is just something that I like. I like for it to be like a little, you know, like a nice fit. Like it was packaged from the store. Like, you know, if you want to leave it like this, go for it. But if you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to push the your uh, peep kebab to the edge. First of all, I'm going to cut. See, this bag is too long. I'm going to cut a little bit of it off. Just like a real small piece off the bottom. Because it's too long. And when you cinch it, it's going to look weird. So I just cut a little bit of that off. So if you want to put the glitter on it, you put the glitter on it. Let the glitter set. So basically, I just folded the bag over. That's basically all I did was fold the bag over. You know, so the peep could be like fit in the look like it fit in the bag perfectly. Then you take a piece of tape and you just tape the back. Just put a piece of tape on the back. You just want it to hold in place. Okay. You don't need to put a big piece of tape because you don't really want that tape to show. So now is in there, right? And then I took a little piece of ribbon. And I made a little bow. So I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to make a bow for you, okay? So basically, you're just going to get you a uh, thing of ribbon. I miss AC Mall. I used to get this ribbon from AC Mall for 50 cents a roll. Now everybody wants 97 cents or even more. So I put my stick going this way with the peeps towards me. I take my ribbon, I put it underneath, I tie it, 
right? Tie it as tight as you want. Then I take it and I like I'm getting ready to tie my shoe. Tie my shoes. Basically, that's what I'm doing. And I take the two ears and I just loop them. Like I'm tying my shoes. You know how they teach you how to do the rabbit ears when you're tying your shoes? <sighs> See this? Y'all thought I was lying when I said, you know what? I'm a double, not this. Y'all thought I was lying when I said I can't make no bows. Bro, I'm embarrassing myself right here. <laughs> All right. So you get your rabbit ears. Rabbit ear. And then you loop it. This is the part that gets me. Like when I'm looping. And then you put it through. And then you just fix it. Like see it went. But now I'm going to fix it up. So it looks a little bit better. Like smaller and more a little more fit perfect. More fit perfect. That didn't even sound right. So it could fit a little bit better. See. I'm going to cut it a little bit. Because I don't really. It don't really need to be that long. You know what I mean. And there you go. You got your peep kebab. If you interested in doing this. I mean, <clears throat> I know a lot. I've seen a lot of people just making peeps with the mold. But this is something you could do. Something different. You can stick it in your um, fake candy bouquets. You can stick it in your freak shakes. Whatever. Or you could just get a jar and put them all up in there. You know, standing like that like candy. But I thought these were so cute on a, on a peep kebab. So anyway, guys. If you like this and you make some. Post a pic on my Facebook business page. Where I post a tutorial, you can post a picture underneath and you can let me see how yours came out. Okay? And again, I'm trying to make it to 10K. So don't forget to share, like, and have ask others to subscribe to my channel. So we can grow and sink or keep on making you some cute little fake bakes or treats or crafts, whatever. But anyway, guys... Until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and I will talk to you really, really soon. Goodbye, and God bless.